I see strife all around me. No one taking the blame. Everyone cursing. Someone else's name. But that don't help me in my journey. Melanie Shaw, hero, hero of our time. Um, this is Hap to her. No, 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 no. Um, can, can, I, can I ask you a few questions, Melanie? Just, just come up. in the basements of Bulletin House, the historical building, all social workers, children, police officers working on that case. It's all declassified, you can Google it, research it, the jet report to the Broxton files. Anybody spoke about it their entire career, the livelihoods and families will be destroyed, and that went as far as Parliament Street and Council of Nottingham. I was in Beachwood and what happened there, everybody knew about it. All the children, the staff, the families, it all the children's homes. And it was a small, powerful group of men who I believe to be Freemasons. Right, devil worshipping. It went off in Cleveland. And it was off all over the country. And I don't give a shit, I'm not going to keep my gob shut. Right, but what bothers me is, what's Chris Eyre doing, the Chief Constable? He was working with Matt Tapp, who I was took out to see at the headquarters. They sh Matt Tapp, he shut down the Jersey investigation into Hawthorne and Loughran. There's, there's Matt Tapp Associates, the fifth <coughs> one down is the Matt Tapp Files. He worked on the Madeleine McCann case, the Ian Hunter case. They shut down the facts of what's going on. And we've got a national child abuse inquiry that's just not happening. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. paedophilia, child porn, right? Where, where you're witnessing a child being raped. This is our fucking country. The people of our country own this country, not a select few sick bastards, to be fair. Right? And every single pornographic image is a fucking crime scene. And it's a child being violated. And at the end of the day, how can there be that man from Cambridge, that doctor with 175,000 porn images, Miles Bradbury, who abused. 22 children, they knew he was on a list from America and our government have got over 2,000 names again and they've made one arrest, they don't care. Because they're fucking involved and in my opinion is, they don't know what to do. We all know it's going off. What I say I do, I would go to fucking prisons all over the place and every child in this country feel like, I don't, I don't, I'm not frightened. I'll say you've done that to me, I don't give a fuck if you're my parent. But it's been legalised by Jack Straw. What can we do? I wrote to all the ministers while I was in prison, not all, every single minister, equalities, justice minister. I sent all them letters off. Not one of them responded to me. Because his brother's a nonce. Pardon? Because his brother is a nonce. Not Jack everybody Shaw. is a paedophile. <coughs> no, no, Jack Straw. Oh, yeah, he's a Nottingham man. Yes. He got nicked and, and convicted. But not everybody can be a paedophile. I'm not a fucking paedophile. Right? But everybody, I could think of Harriet Holman, and I'll say this direct to you now. You owe the British public an apology. Right? Because you signed off documents for pie, for, for, for liberty, to try and lower the age of consent to four. Right? And try to push an underpaid document through Parliament. You have fucking apologise, and that is disgusting. But we know that. Do you know what I mean? We know that. 
Kenneth Clark. <laughs> you fuck up. Damien's dad had you, right? You fucked that fella's penis, allegedly. I don't give a fuck. It's only him that said it. He's been persecuted. You stole my son. What have I got to fucking lose? Absolutely nothing. Does anybody else agree with me that the fucking British government for doing fuck all is disgusting? Yeah, yeah. Well, Chris Leslie, you write to me, and I'm looking forward to coming to London to see you because you've been all right with me, right? But I'm now going to take one of you on, one at a fucking time, pick you off. And you either support me or I'll slag you off. And if you don't do your job, so I'm a dungeon sucks having a breakdown now. Tom Watson's disappeared off the scene. Any of you that don't fucking actually do your job as a public paid official, then you're just fucking going to be like Cliff Richard. You won't want to go to Wimbledon. Eh? I don't know. Yes, you want to like to look a bit. You know what I mean? And you won't go to walk down the street because I'm going to come and live next door in the same village as even every, each and every one of you. Go on, mate. Because I'm fucking homeless. Now I can't go back to Nottingham, so I'll only tell them fucking bed sit or tent sit on your fucking front garden. Watch this face, you can <laughs> Just one question. It's a huge, it's not, there's more people in this country then there is the fucking pedos that, sorry for swearing, for doing it, but it's like a matrix triangle, paedophile triangle connected all the way nationally around this country. It's a small minority and they've got the jobs and they're in the Masonic Lodge and they're allowed to do what the hell they want. Do you know what I mean? And the amount of people they are, if we take them on, the communities know who they are, the public know who they are, their employees and the colleagues know who they are. And if everybody stands up and says the name, what are they going to do to us all? Wipe out the country? Do an early level? What the fuck are they going to do? They're the minority, the fucking sick minority. They're scared of us. They're in the power that they're giving certain people it's privilege to rape children, and I'm fucking, I've had enough of it. We're not And it's not just in care, it's happening to either. So it's not just institutional child abuse, it's child abuse as general. If we've got a law of 16, because we're not the Vatican or we're not Africa, then we ought to have a police force that deals with it, to be fair, and judges, not ones that are fucking paedophiles and masons. That's it. Okay. I'd just like to say, Detective Constable Louise Gorman from Nottinghamshire Police and the rest of the force has been investigating Nicholas Shaw, who's got a, a page on Twitter, Slider1969, where he's dressed in body paint as a devil, not owner of ABC and Ace Taxes, he's got the police contracts, social services, vulnerable mental health people, he's actively promoting ISIS, Coney 2012, basement bombashing, and you've said to me, and that phone call's been recorded today, that Nottinghamshire Police do not arrest people that do that or promote that. Now we've recorded that phone call. So you've got to take ownership of that statement, Louise Gorman, Detective Constable, and also Helen Chamberlain. You made a statement against me and colleagues that was very good, the ones that I, I had to spend 12 hours in the cells with, in Devon and Cornwall Police. You've made a statement and you've told a lie. You've lied on that statement, that's a criminal offence. Your job, you're a paid public official, Helen, and you're head of public protection as Chief Superintendent of Nottinghamshire Police, and you've got a responsibility and a job to look out for people, residents of Nottinghamshire. I look forward to seeing you in court, and if you commit perjury, that carries a long time in prison. And just because I spoke the truth, I've had my son stolen, and now I'm being targeted, well, what more can you do to me? There's nothing else you can do to me. You don't frighten me anymore. You don't frighten me at all. What are you going to do? Put me in prison? Fabricate more charges against me? It's not about me, it's about all the others. How many investigations do you not look into? How many paedophiles do you protect? Who is running the show? Who is pulling the strings in the city of Nottingham? That's what I want to know. But I'm going to hold you to account. And I've got the support of the Police and Crime Commissioner, Paddy Tipping, and my MP, Chris Leslie, and a lot of members of the public. So, 
people want to make reckless statements, that's their choice. That's it. Melanie, would you mind just saying who you are onto, onto the camera for me? Yeah, I'm Melanie Shaw from Nottingham, who survived a serial killer. Who Thank also you. survived a murder attempt at the age of four, and you're doing nothing about. And Nicholas Shaw and Dennis Shaw, who, who Social Services Nottingham put me with, they raped me, and I was molested from being a young child, from three weeks of age, twice a day, every day, and it was a satanic abuse ring. But the rest of that, that needs ghostwriting and putting into a book. But I'm not going to fucking go away. And I don't have to explain myself. It's other people need to explain their actions. I've done nothing wrong. I don't hurt children. And I don't hurt other people. Thank you very much, Melanie. It's my pleasure. Somebody's got to say it. Absolutely. If I don't do it, who else is going to do it? Come and get me. There's a lot more good people out there than there is you few corrupt ones. And the good ones have had enough. All over the country, we've had enough. Well, I'd like to thank you for the children that are suffering the abuse now. Because <laughs> if, <laughs> if we've never dealt with it, are we saying the problem's gone away? How can a problem that's never been tackled have been dealt with? It's physically impossible. That's common sense, not common fucking purpose. Thanks. Thank you very much. Enough is